Intel is going to start making all your phones. Twitter is buying all of Nvidia's graphics cards and Nvidia is changing gaming forever. I'm actually really excited about this one. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Thursday, April 13th, 2023. And before we get into the details, I just want to remind you that as this episode of hot news is going live, we are live streaming our trip to Micro Center for me to pick up an RTX 4070 for the channel. We are also going to be giving away an RTX 4070 if we can get our hands on one in order to do so. So come watch the live stream, enjoy that. And then once the 4070 giveaway is done, we're giving away this PC right here with the 12900 KS and a 4070 Ti. Watching the live stream as this video goes out is gonna be your best bet in order to make all of that happen. So the 4070 is time sensitive. You have to be there as the winner is drawn in order to win it, but the 4070 Ti is a little bit more lenient. But all of that is because we did get the reviews of the RTX 4070 yesterday. I did talk about this briefly when hot news came out. I didn't have access to any of the pre-information. I just speculated based on all that we knew beforehand. And it does appear like the 4070 kind of lands exactly where I speculated it was going to. $600 performs about a 3080, loses in some 4K scenarios. It's a better buy to get the 6950 XT. And this would be a much, much better sell if it came in at the $500 price point in Nvidia. Might just be being a little bit greedy, but we'll leave the video cards roundup as we always do for launches like this down below in the description for you to check out all of the companies and YouTubers and organizations that got their hands on an RTX 4070 for review. You can check it out. There's a whole bunch of different versions that you can see. And if you catch us right before we buy the 4070, you might be able to inform me which of these I should pick up from Micro Center because that's where we're gonna be. They're sponsoring the stream and they're sponsoring today's video. So come over to the stream. Tell me which 4070 you think we should buy for you to win, but uh, also hear about Micro Center as today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored Sponsored by Micro Center. It's my favorite place to go to buy PC parts, and I have been doing many live streams over there trying to get my hands on all of the latest computer goods. We bought a 7800X 3D, and we're hoping to pick up the brand new graphics cards that are coming out as well. Because Micro Center is the place to go if you're looking to get computer parts or gaming equipment, because they have a ton of selection at fantastic prices. With over 30,000 items in stock and deals going on all of the time, Micro Center is really a no brainer. They have 25 locations across the United States with a brand new one coming this summer in Indianapolis. It's their first new store in eight years. And if you check out the link in the video description, you can get a free 128 gigabyte flash drive if you happen to go to the Indianapolis launch. Check it out down below at the link in the video description. But on top of that, they're gonna be coming out with two more stores by 2025 to make sure that they're reaching more people with their fantastic deals, like their new customer exclusive coupons, where you can get an inland 256 gigabyte SSD for free by showing up in store using this coupon. You can just get that for your PC and upgrade it a little bit, or you can check out their GPUs, which they have fantastic deals on all of the time. It's their 6950 XT bundle, where if you get that with any CPU, you can take $50 off the cost of the graphics card, dropping it down to $599, which is an incredible price for the 6950 XT and should be about as equal in performance as a 4070 Ti for much less money. But in case you're looking to build a PC, they have their PC builder where you can spec out your parts, make sure everything matches, and you can even have one of their associates build it in store for you same day for a small fee that will make sure that you get the pre-built experience of taking it home and setting it up, but with the customization of a custom PC suited to everything that you want. But in case you're not into PCs, they also have a ton of other stuff like maker equipment, 3D printers. They also have their Apple savings event going on all month long in April. April where you can get decent prices on a ton of different Apple equipment, like $200 off a MacBook Pro. But one of my favorite things about Micro Center, besides all of the goods, the gadgets, the things that I love to buy, they have 18 minute in-store pickup. You place your order, you get your sneakers on, you go to the store. It should already be waiting for you because it takes me way longer than 18 minutes to get ready to go to a store and actually show up. It's incredibly fast. They have so many different things that you can check out. So big thanks to Micro Center for sponsoring today's video. Check out the brand new Indianapolis store that's opening later this year. Check Check out the new customer coupon for that free 256 gig SSD and window shop until you're ready to buy because Micro Center is going to be there for you. Big thanks again to them for sponsoring today's video. I can't tell you how cool it is to work with Micro Center on all this kind of stuff. And Intel is trying to tell everybody how cool it is to work with ARM for producing their upcoming SOCs on Intel's groundbreaking 18 angstrom process node. So this is a very, very big deal because Intel in their latest roadmap said that they want to start producing a lot more chips using 
using IFS or Intel's Foundry services, which will allow them to make other companies' products, kind of like TSMC makes everything for NVIDIA, for AMD, and for Apple. Intel wants to start offering that, and ARM is the first company that they're going to be partnering up with. So they're not actually partnering to the point where they're going to start producing everything ARM makes, but rather this agreement should make it easier for companies like Qualcomm and MediaTek to license out Intel in order to make their chips. So your next generation Samsung smartphone might actually be made by Intel, even though it does have a Qualcomm chip inside. And then the other ones will have the Exynos chips with AMD's GPUs. It'll be a fun time. That'll be made over at Samsung. But this is just the start of what Intel has planned for the roadmap to start making more companies chips. Maybe sometime down the line, we might start to see companies like AMD and Nvidia switch over to Intel production, especially as trade wars and difficulties pile up with working with Taiwan, having in a US domestic based company to work with might make it a little bit more appetizing for specific things. I wouldn't anticipate that we're going to get flagship graphics ever going to Intel because they're still using TSMC for their ARC GPUs, but it could shake things up quite a bit. I'm excited to see where this goes. Intel has been making a lot of moves ever since they brought Pat Gelsinger on as the CEO. I'm excited to see where they go next, which it appears like Meteor Lake, where they're going next is L4 caches. They're going to put L4 cache on Meteor Lake. Typically, this isn't done because it's too big and too slow, but for some reason, Meteor Lake's tile setup will make it so that it might be a viability. I will keep you updated as we learn more about that, but things are changing over at Intel, just like things are changing at PC Game Pass because it's going to be available in 40 new countries for anybody who hasn't been able to get PC Game Pass, where they give you a whole host of different games for one monthly fee. It's going to be available in all of these new countries. We'll have a link in the video description for you to check out which one that is. But you know what deal I would want to take? Probably a graphic card one so that I could buy 10,000 of them. That's probably what Elon Musk is saying to himself. I should have bought those all at Micro Center. And it turns out that for a generative AI thing that Elon wants to do over at Twitter, or now as it's known, x.com, he's going to be buying 10,000 GPUs, more than likely NVIDIA graphics cards for this. Because as you might remember, Elon Musk was actually a co-founder of OpenAI, the company that's behind ChatGPT. However, he has had a public falling out with that company for a lot of different reasons called Calling it woke, which I won't go into the discussion on that. But one of the things he does bring up, which is an interesting point, is I'm still confused as to how a nonprofit to which I donated a hundred million odd dollars somehow became a thirty billion dollar market cap for profit. That's one of the tricky things OpenAI's been going through with the fact that they have transitioned from their open nonprofit model to just being like, oh, there's a lot of cash to be made here. Let's go ahead and suckle up all of that money after we've taken all of this startup investment from all of these billionaire venture capitalists. Put things in a tricky situation, but it appears that Twitter wants to compete with that. Elon Musk buying the graphics cards in order to do that. This is one of the reasons why NVIDIA is not going anywhere. They're just going to continue to make money hand over fist because if a company needs to buy GPUs for AI training, they're not going to AMD. They're going to NVIDIA. And with the launch of the 4070 from NVIDIA yesterday, we got a few more details on other stuff that they're doing. And honestly, one of these is really incredible. I'm so excited for it. But just a couple of quick tidbits before I get to that. In via LC Media Player is going to get RTX Video Super Resolution, which is the upscaling tech for making videos look better and crisper. It's going to be coming to VLC, as well as NVIDIA announcing the AV1 encoding is going to be coming to YouTube, except for OBS already announced that. So NVIDIA, your thunder was stolen, but no thunder stolen here when it comes to RTX Remix finally being available, the open source software creator toolkit for remastering and reimagining old games. This is honestly, I really am looking forward to this technology. We have a history here on UFD Tech of constantly going back to older games like Need for Speed Underground 2 and Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, where we tried to bake ray tracing into them and make them look as good as possible. We did it with the tools that were available. RTX Remix honestly will change things quite a bit. So this is actually the tool that Nvidia used to remake Portal with RTX on. And as you can see here, you get a full RTX remastering of Elder Scrolls Morrowind, which makes it look absolutely incredible. You get a whole host of features that allow you to bake in RTX technology to make it look better. It does typically apply to DX8 and DX9 games, but there's a whole lot of feature sets and runtimes and different technologies baked into this so that we actually might start seeing a lot of fan-made re-renderings of older games that make them actually graphically competent. You're not going to really change the textures too much with this technology, but then there's other up resing technologies for changing the textures that are out there for making mods. I honestly can't understate 
how excited I am to see what remix projects actually come to market because this is gonna look good. Portal with RTX, an absolute beautiful game with this remix technology. I wanna see what else is gonna be out there. Let me know what game you would want people to take into RTX Remix to get it to look stunning. I wanna hear from you down below in the comments. That's the big thing that happened with the 4070 launch. Honestly, the 4070 launch, give it, take it, leave it. We're obviously live streaming right now, going to take one, but this, this remix, this is what I'm excited for. Anyways, don't forget to come join us on our stream. I'll be back here tomorrow to close out your week with another episode of Hot News. And until then, my friends, 